the bears in the bed, and the great big storm. How the wind blew! It howled in the treetops so that the branches bent and creaked and leaves shivered and shook. It blew over the hills and the high places, howling and wailing through the rocky passes. Bear and Mrs. Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed. Then Bear felt a tugging at his blanket. He opened one eye. There was Baby Bear. There's a monster outside. I can hear it howling and wailing, and I'm scared. Can I sleep in your bed? There's no such thing as monsters, says Bear. What a scaredy bear you are. But he pulled back the cover, and Baby Bear snuggled up warm and safe. How the thunder crashed! It boomed and crackled so the house shuddered and the windows rattled. It grumbled and rumbled and echoed and faded only to boom and crash again. Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed, but Bear lay awake with his paws over his ears. Then Bear felt a tapping on his shoulder. There was Little Bear. There's a monster outside. Its tummy is rumbling and grumbling like it's going to eat me. Can I sleep with you? There's no such thing as monsters, said Bear. You're another scare scaredy bear. But he lifted the cover and little bear snuggled up, warm and safe. How the lightning flashed. It forked and flickered, lighting the scurrying clouds and splashing quick black shadows on the windows and walls. Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear and Little Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed, but Bear lay awake with his pillow wrapped around his head. Then Bear felt a tap on his nose. It was Young Bear. There's a monster outside. It has huge twisted horns and it's making shadows on my wall. Can I come sleep in your bed? There's no such thing as monsters, cried Bear but he let young bear climb into bed where he snuggled up warm and safe. Now bear was wide awake. He listened to the wind howling and the thunder crashing. He watched the lightning fork and flash. Young bear's right, he thought. The shadows on the wall do look like monster horns. And he pulled up the bed covers right over his head. Suddenly there was a rat tat tat at the door. Everybody woke at once. Who can that be, said Bear. It's probably nothing at all, said Mrs. Bear. Go and see. And she gave Bear a little push. Bear climbed nervously out of bed. He picked up a candle to light his way and padded slowly, ever so slowly, to the door. You're all such scaredy bears, he said to the others. There's no such thing as monsters. As he turned the handle, the wind blew the door open. The candle went out and everything was black as black. Then the lightning flashed. A monster, shouted Bear. He jumped back in fright and dived straight under the bed. It's not a monster, it's a moose, said Moose. Stepping through the doorway, the storm has blown my house away. Can I sleep in yours? Bear peered out from under the bed. Baby Bear and Little Bear and Young Bear laughed and laughed and laughed. What a scaredy bear you are, they said. Don't you know, there's no such thing as monsters.